funded, which is that of corporate involvement and corporate support. And I think um, on that note, uh, there's no better time than now to thank uh, Sandani Art Foundation and uh, the Anrajib Sandani for having brought us all here um, at such a very important time in the, it's such a very important time for contemporary art in Bangladesh. If you look behind us, you'll see uh, a banner of logos representing corporate support for the Dhaka Art Summit. And of course, it's with, without this level of commitment, without this level of funding, it would simply have been impossible to bring together a disparate group of artists, galleries, uh, people who are passionate about the region, passionate about the art, from all over the world to Dhaka for these few days. So um, the questions addressed here are, are really about that corporate commitment to the arts. Uh, to what extent are different business uh, entities prepared to support the art of the region um, what is their um, gain or their personal benefit from this, uh, whether it's personal satisfaction, a sense of corporate social responsibility, whether it's indeed enhancing their own profile or um, satisfying the interests of people who run the company. Uh, there's so many different aspects that determine and that really drive corporate sponsorship. And uh, I think on that note, I'd really like to start with Rupali to find out a little bit more about Berger Paints and Berger Paints and the arts. Uh, thank you. Um, Berger Paints, uh, for the international audience, few words about Berger Paints. Berger Paints is a uh, multinational company operating in the paint industry since 1970, and we are absolute market leader and we are holding 50, more than 50% of market share. So, um, back in 1995-96, we were thinking that as a part of corporate social responsibility, what we should do. At that time, our thought, you know, we wanted to do something with the culture, and we looked at different areas of culture, and we thought music is well uh, supported, and other uh, areas also well supported. We thought painting, uh, this area is not well supported, and but difference incidentally, we also do deal with the colors, and painters also do uh, create different kind of paints with colors. So why not painting? So with that thought we did, and also we had uh, in our mind that painters do, especially young painters, they need to struggle a lot, and all the painters do struggle throughout their life. So uh, keeping that in mind, we thought that we would definitely patronize this area, and we introduced Berger Young Painters Art Competition 1996. Since then, we have been doing this for the last 16 years. And during this time, we have awarded 96 painters and we have showcased around 3,000 paintings. And so this has been really good. We, we have been doing really well. uh, what, what is the actual mechanism or what is the process for the prize? How do you select the artist? Is the, how, how does the jury work? We have uh, a renowned uh, jury members. That they are the renowned jury, uh, jury members like Kayam Choudhury, Rafiq Nabi, and contemporary artists like Konok Chapa, Shishi. So the, every year we have panel of jury board members. They run the whole thing, and it is in, it's being done with the Chalukala Institute. So they are the sole, and we announce uh, every year around this uh, September time, we announce that in the newspaper. So uh, young painters, like from 250 to 300 young artists, they do participate in this uh, competition and it has become a national event and artists do uh, create paintings based on this competition. So it's basically we give money, uh, individual, we, uh, out of uh, those paintings only we leave uh, photographs of the painting, they send photographs and then out of these 250 and 300 jurors select around 40 paintings and 40 paintings we do exhibitions out of these 40 paintings, six paintings are selected uh, from in order of merit. And with these six paintings, we do we create the annual calendars and greeting cards. And can you, so the, the artists have a further promotion yes. through the calendars and the photo calendars. And we have three days exhibitions for those 40 uh, paintings. For the 40 paintings. And uh, I guess the tie up between a paint producing company and artists is a sort of very, very natural one. Because 
course, paint is the basic material for so many artists, um, traditionally more important than today, but you know, still absolutely central. Now, you're a multinational company. Your business spreads over different countries. And I wonder whether this model has been adopted in, in other markets, or whether you're unique uh, in working with the, with the prize model. Uh, in the group, we started first. Bangladesh started first. Others have followed, but not, uh, not the way we have been, because we have been very much consistent. We have been doing it the last 16 years. We have the commitment to do it in the future also, not like this. And uh, I've done a little bit of research on Berger, Berger Paints and was very impressed to know that on your logo it says founded 1760, which, which is six years before Christie's. So we're an extremely good company, I think, both of us sitting here today. Um, uh, Credit Suisse is a firm which is very, very well known for its big arts sponsorship and art patronage. And I think anybody who's been in London recently will be aware of the great Leonardo exhibition at the National Gallery, which was um, mobbed by art lovers every all time today. All time. Hello. All times of day, um, huge crowds of people lining up to try and get in, and uh, people making special visits, of course, to London. Uh, can you tell us, come around a little bit more about Credit Suisse and art sponsorship and the sort of the history of art sponsorship with Credit Suisse? Uh, absolutely. Now, first of all, I thank Mr. Ranjit and Dani for inviting Credit uh, Suisse and myself to, first of all, into Dhaka, which is a glorious and vibrant city. And it's the first time that I am actually here, so it's a refreshing taste and feel um, of a growing city like that. Um, you're absolutely right regarding Credit Suisse. Um, I think one of the two themes which we really can, I guess, uh, connect, and that is really...